what is up you guys welcome back to the channel another exciting freaking day of the month i'm telling you man passive income passive income is what it's all about it's nothing new it's how the wealthy become wealthy and that's all there is to it man shit i mean this ain't rocket science it's freaking wealth 101 like how do people make money people make money residually artists musicians real estate investors um, real estate developers, but at the same time, that's, that's more physical. Anything when you're dealing with physical, when you're dealing with physical products, right? Shipping, receiving, selling, transactional product, exchanging, right? When you're building a business where it actually either takes the sell of a physical product or when it takes the physical effort of you, where if you don't show up to work today, you don't get paid. That's linear income. The majority of this country, specifically 95, 96, 90, it's actually 97, 90, 97 to 98 percent. Let's call it 90, 97 to 9, let's call it 97 percent. 90, 97 percent of our, our country, right, is on linear income. Most people have a job. Most people work at a job. Corporate America ain't nothing new, right? All I'm saying is that that's linear income. What we're trained and what we're freaking programmed since preschool, um, what the educational system has always taught us was to go get a job, right? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. It, I'm, just, I'm just explaining linear income versus residual income. Linear income is what 97% of us you know, deal with day to day, and that's going to work. If you do not go to work, you don't get paid. A lot of people are on hourly. If you don't clock in, you literally do not get paid. A lot of you are on salary where you have to be there. You have to be there. You only get so many sick days. You have to be at work every day. That's why they're paying you salary, right? That's why you get a for sure paycheck, right? Because you physically have to be there. That is linear income, the most riskiest income of them all. And the majority of our, of our society has been programmed to think that, that, that that's secure, right? Um, and then you got obviously a whole business income. That's a whole nother, you know, freaking can of worms. But then you have residual income. Who makes residual income? Residual income is what an investor would make. For example, I go and buy a single family home. Let's say out here in San Diego, I go buy a three bedroom house. And then I turn around and I rent it to the neighbors down the street, right? The monthly mortgage payment that I have to pay, that I'm required to pay over the next 30 years, it's my home. I own the home. I'm just simply renting it to you guys, right? That bank is charging me every month. That's the mortgage, right? I have to be able to rent it out to the neighbor. I have to be able to rent it out to them for a higher, for a greater amount of that monthly mortgage. Now, not everyone has that. Not everyone has that luxury. Not every owner of a property has that luxury. Sometimes they have to run it out to someone and they're in the negative. So if, you're, if your mortgage is 3,000 a month, but you can only rent it for 2,500 a month because that's the going rate for the market, you can only get 2,500, three bedroom, two bath. You can only get max 2,500, but your payment is 3,000. That means you're negative 500 a month. You're not a real estate investor. You're a freaking real estate disaster, right? You're in the negative every month. Yes, someone rents it out. Yes, they cover the majority of the payment, but the payment's 3,000. They, they, they pay you 2,500. You're negative 500 every month. That's negative cash flow. And, that, and that's, for, that, that's literally a commitment. That's a 30-year mortgage it was a 30 year commitment that that homeowner is in it, that is required they are under law required federal law required to pay that right or they default or they default and then they go you know obviously deal with those consequences which are which is a whole nother video but um but um the point is is that freaking um um you have to really you you have to be there like you have to physically be there right you have to physically be there you're clocking in your salary whatever but residual income is if i was not in the negative per month right let's say my mortgage was 2500 a month but i was able to rent it out because the market's so hot and there's not as much supply as there is demand and i can actually 
take advantage of the market to a, to a legal, you know, legal extent where let's say, for example, my mortgage is 2,500 a month, but I'm able to rent it out for 3000 a month. That is the typical dream that every real estate investor has that ha has had that have been chasing residual income this entire time since existence, right? Their dr the dream real estate investor is to go buy property and be able to rent it out for more than what their mortgage payment requires every month. That would be residual income. That would be a positive cash flow of 500 a month for me. I'm in the winner circle, right? That doesn't always happen that way, but that is a residual income. That is a form of residual income. That's why real estate has always been and will always continue to be the dominator when it comes to creating wealth because not only are you able to profit monthly if you are in that type of market and the situation and the numbers do allow you to make a positive cash flow, but then at the same time, look at that, man. I'm talking about in, the, in a market where the, where the monthly freaking rent is 2500 a month where the monthly rent is 3000 a month. How much was that property? That's the real question you need to ask yourself. How much was that property for it to be that high of a monthly payment? That's a whole nother question, right? Out here in San Diego, man, you can't buy anything for under 300 grand. You can't buy anything for under 400 grand. You know, a, a real nice, decent single family home, 400 grand, 500 grand, 600 grand for sure. So if I bought that property at that price, I put down boatloads of money for my down payment, right? Now I have this monthly payment of $2,500 a month, but because the market demands it, I can get $3,000 a month if I rent it to the neighbors. They have a growing family. That's the rate. It is what it is. They pay me $3,000. I pay off my $2,500 every month. Now I'll have a $500 monthly cash flow. I'm telling you right now, man, and here's the moral of me taking you on that detour is the fact that what we're able to make, what you're able to make as a positive monthly cash flow from building a rinky dink YouTube channel, what you guys can make residually every single month is more than what people are investing thousands of dollars and knowledge also and know-how. You can't just be some idiot investing in real estate. You gotta at least know what you're doing, at least have a team around you, right? Advisors, right? mentors but how much money is invested how much in how much money would i had to invest into a single family home here in san diego to have a monthly mortgage payment on something of 2500 and be able to rent it for 3000 first of all you know when renting actually a lot of people are renting for 3000 a month i take that back that's the rate that's the rate so the question is what how much did i have to put up to get that property in the first place and was that even worth it to have a $500 monthly cash flow, or maybe even be in a negative cash flow, who knows? But let's just say it was a $500 monthly positive cash flow. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You need two of those properties to be at 1000 a month. You need two of those mega, mega properties to go out there and rent them to two single families to have double the 500 pleasure. So now you're at 1000 a month in positive cash flow, having to deal with tenants, and now having two very expensive properties on your portfolio, right? So there's also liability there too. Now, can you be in a market where the property continues to increase? Hell yeah, for sure. I'm out here in San Diego, property freaking continues to appreciate, right? It's like, it'll always appreciate. But the liability is, us. there's obviously a liability there as well. And there's just so much more that goes into it to, at the end of the day, make a positive cash flow. Now, if you're of a thousand bucks, that ain't nothing. Now, if your intention was to buy low and, and, and eventually sell high in the future, that's why this monthly positive cash flow is so, is so important. Because as you go out there and buy a piece of property, for example, and I'm using property as an example, because that's where a lot of people make residual income. We're not all artists. We're not all musicians. We're not all authors and have a best-selling Harry Potter book. A lot of us aren't making royalties that way. So a lot of people out here make royalties, aka residual income through real estate. But my point is that how much did it cost to get that expensive real estate? And, and my whole intention is to buy it low and then sell it high down the line 
that way I can, I can build some margin in, right? I can build some equity. I can hold on to it for a couple years and, 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 and let, that, uh, let that value increase so I can then turn around and sell it and make the 200 grand, right? Held the property for a couple years, flipped it and, 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 and had a margin of 200 grand. But there's so much more that goes into that as well, man. And during that two-year period that, that I held the properties, I had to rent them out and that was a headache, right? Um, and at the end of it all, it was about a thousand dollars a month, positive cash flow. I had two properties, 500, 500, right? I'm using these numbers as a ballpark as an example, but you get the picture. It's the same strategy. It's like, dude, I have two properties, thousand dollar monthly cash flow. I'm telling you, man, the moral of this entire freaking video is that I'm so fired up on where my YouTube check is going. And I'm so fired up on encouraging every single one of you to go out there and start a channel. I don't give a crap what it's on. It has nothing to do with the way you look. It has nothing to do with how you smell. It has nothing to do with your knowledge, with your talent, with your skill. Find your interest, find your interest, find your passion. That's all. And I'm telling you to start small and I'm telling you to start part-time. I'm telling you to build this around your full-time job and build this around your full-time business. If you do have a full-time business, you need to be documenting segments of your day and uploading that video clip to YouTube. Now you can cut it up and put it up in, in every other platform. Go ahead and do that. Put it on Instagram, get 30 seconds, throw it up on the stories, you know, take a, take a, a portion of it and put it up on LinkedIn. You can do that. You can do that. But I'm telling you, man, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, freaking Instagram. The moment you put, you post something, it's lost in the newsfeed a few seconds later. So unless you're really badass and you really have literally hundreds of thousands of followers, the organic pull is not there. So you have to go pay traffic to get people to see your message no matter what. But I'm just saying what you need to also do is take that content and upload it to YouTube. Okay. Bottom line. And if you're doing video on your cell phone, make sure that you hold the phone horizontal. You hold the phone, you know, sideways landscape. I think that's landscape view, right? Widescreen or whatever. If you're doing cell phones or if you're doing videos on your cell phone, hold the video this way. And, and, and literally, if you're building a business, man, start documenting, start taking segment, segments out of your day and documenting it and throwing that on your YouTube channel. Because I'm telling you, you're going to be putting out content regardless. If you are building a business or you're just fired up about a certain you know, niche or, 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 or topic um, and you want to start you know, talking about that, this, this isn't necessarily for business owners. You can, I'm telling everyone and their mother to go start a channel. Because I'm convinced that every single one of you has some type of interest and you have some type of passion. Forget about building a business. You have some type of interest and you have some type of passion. And I'm just saying it's an extra bonus for those of you that are like myself that are actually building a, building a business because there's your content. What do you think I'm doing? That's all I'm doing on this channel, man, is documenting my business. That's it. It's not really day in the life of my kids. I'll have stuff, stuff, stuff every now and then, especially on my, you know, Facebook. I post my family and stuff like that. Ain't no problem with that at all. But as far as keeping it on topic and keeping it narrow and keeping it very specific, so so we can then um, 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 get into the YouTube algorithm and and get them knowing who our target audiences so then they can start suggesting and start recommending it to other people and they can find your audience i'm telling you man it doesn't matter if you're building a business or or just your interest or your passion there's a there's a market for it and and all i'm saying is that if we are building a business that content that you're putting out on every other damn platform park it on youtube park it on youtube because this little money dude i'm telling you i know the power of residual income that's why i went on the rant about real estate because most of us that's your only hope most of us that want to make that type of rock star monthly income where you do not have to go to work tomorrow that is passive income i just went on the rant telling you that the majority of people try to make that in real estate but in real estate there's so much more that goes into it you need so much more money there's so much more risk than to simply document what the hell you're fired up about and throw it on this and be able to match what th those folks over there are making now for sure invest in real estate. That's where that, that's the whole drive behind my motivation on building a business is to take that income and invest it in real estate. But at the same time, that, that that's a whole different strategy, right? It's not the typical strategy where we're going to go buy single family homes, rent them out and make money every month. Hell no. I don't want that headache at all. 
because something like this, where we're at today, you guys, I'm telling you, man, where we're at today with, with, with YouTube, with social media, with content, when these guys start paying you and that money starts hitting your bank account, you're going to be fired up just like I am. All right. And you're going to talk out of your ass and you're going to be like, dude, Hey, blah, blah, blah. You're, you're going to go on a rant. Right. I'm literally telling everyone and their mother right now to start a channel. I was at my, my son's boxing practice. True story. I was at my, my son's boxing practice yesterday talking to the parents, right? Talking to his friend's parents, husband and wife, talking to both of them, right? Their little boys in boxing with my kid. This little kid, third grader, spends about five, he, well, that's probably exaggerating. He spends, about, he spends about two hours. He literally spends about two hours a day playing Fortnite. And I'm already knowing about the gamers, right? I'm already knowing about YouTube. I'm already knowing about how crazy that industry is. My son, 12 years old, he follows the most craziest YouTubers with millions of subscribers. These are gamers, right? So I'm already knowing the audience and I'm telling this to the parents. I'm like, dude, he needs to be putting those videos up on YouTube because by the time he's a seventh grader, he'd be making more money than any of his, than all of his teachers. And that is fact. That is like hardcore truth fact because it's a long time, third grade, seventh grade. Over the next four years, you're going to be doing whatever the hell you do anyways. Over the next four years, those of, those of you that are building a business, you're going to be building your business and putting content out on social media anyways. You need to park it on YouTube, man, because here's what's starting to happen. This is my third month of getting a, de a deposit. And although it's not in the thousands just yet, it's starting to accumulate and every month it increases, right? Every month. And, and once your channel hits momentum and you go from a thousand subscribers to 4,000 subscribers and from 4,000 to 10,000, I've seen channels do that where they go on a crazy jump. It's, it's an exponential freaking um, leap, right? Um, that, that happens as well once you catch momentum and, and there's no telling when, when you can, but you got to hit a thousand subscribers first, right? That's the first goal. Hit, th hit, hit 1,000 subscribers, hit the 4,000 watch hours, make that happen first. And then I'm telling you, start, the channel starts to take off. The channel starts, starts to take off. So this is, this out of all the different ways that you have a chance to make a residual income, let me end it here. I'm telling you, man. YouTube is a phenomenal, phenomenal option. It's a phenomenal opportunity. If you're out there putting content out already, park it on YouTube because in 12 months, they're going to start sending you a check and that check can grow pretty big. And that check will come every month like your freaking rent. And that check will offset your rent. And that check, that monthly residual income from the videos that I'm doing today, I'm getting paid in the future for residual income. That's what I'm trying to compare it to you guys. Residual income. I look at, I get this email, right? Here's, here's what the emails look like. So I just got another deposit. That's why I'm making this video. I want to show you guys where I've been in the last few months. Although I've already put out videos. I'm going to, this is just kind of, you know, summing it all up where we're at now. This is the email that comes in when you get a deposit from Google. Okay. Check your recent payments. We sent a payment for your AdSense. So that email went out. I sign in and boom. This right here tells me what my recent deposit was. So today is the 22nd. This was on the 21st, and that was a deposit of 335. Two questions. Question number one is how much money do I need invested in real estate to have a positive monthly cash flow of 300 bucks? Now, in my example earlier, if my mortgage is $2,200 a month, and I rent it out for $2,500 a month to the neighbors down the street. My positive cash flow every month is $300. But I got to make sure those numbers work out. I got to make sure I own the property. I got to put a down payment down. I got to make sure my credit score is right. I got to make sure I have an income to even prove to the bank that I can buy the property. I got to make sure I have no debt, right? I got to make sure that these car payments, you know, they don't reflect. I got to make sure my income is there. I got to prove in tax returns for the last two years that I've been making this income just so I can own this property. So I can put myself in a position to run it to the neighbors and charge them more than what I'm having to pay on my mortgage every month. It's like, dude, so much goes into that, man. So much goes into that. If you're putting out content, put it here on YouTube, man, because this right here income, it's, it, it, it continues to grow. It continues to grow. And for those of you that are building businesses, that right there is marketing cost, 
that right there is any other random expense. For those of you that are not building a business and you're just, you got your full-time job and let's say you're a student and you're working on your craft, you're working on your craft. Start documenting that, man. Start documenting that. When I was talking to my, my, my son's friend's parents yesterday at, at practice, he's telling me, the husband's telling me, he's all, dude, he's all, I watch YouTubers all the time. All the time. He's all, I'm always interested in automotive and things to fix up my truck. And he's all, dude, I could make videos on what I'm doing. He's all, I could make videos on, on, on my engine and how I'm updating mine and, and how I add, added all this aftermarket you know, parts to my truck. He's all, I can do a, I can do videos like that on myself. I'm like, dude, is that your passion? He's like, yes. I'm like, dude, I'm like, what an extra 300 a month. If all of a sudden, because you're already dude, I'm, that's, see what I'm saying, you guys, is that this is stuff you're already doing. It's stuff you're already excited about. It's, it's stuff you're already interested in. It's stuff you already have a passion in. It's something you already have a knowledge in and, or it's your business. Okay. And with all that being said, it's social media where you're spitting it out on right? You're spitting it out. And I'm telling this to, 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 to my friend yesterday at the, the parent. And I'm like, dude, you need to put that on YouTube because in, in a few months, you're going to be doing, you're going to be fired up about all that stuff. Regardless, you're going to be building your business regardless. So if, if we just parked it over here and if in 12 months, if you just had a few extra hundred a month coming in, I said with 300, because this was yesterday and I'm telling, I'm telling him this on the day that I actually received this. I said, dude, would, would an extra 300 a month, like help you out? Like, would it help your family, like your wife? Cause they have kids, right? It's like, dude, I'm telling you, you tell it to anybody. You 500 is, is the magic number. You ask any normal average American, you ask any lower class, middle class, or even upper class, even the bougie ones that think they got money. They make about a hundred grand, 150 grand a year, but they're at work all day, 10 hours a day. They don't even know their kids. They have that typical corporate life, but they make money. You know what I mean? But they're in the worst position ever in my you know, professional opinion, but that's a whole other story. But you ask any of these people, man, would an extra 500 a month help? Like if, if you just had this extra income coming in, would that help? And, and you ask that to anybody, man, and I don't care what their financial status is, nine out of 10 times, it's not just help, it's drastically help. I told this to my friend yesterday. I'm like, dude, would an extra 300 a month help you guys out? He's all, dude, that's a lot of money. He's all, if I had an extra 300 a month coming in, like I wouldn't be stressing so much at work. And I told him, I'm like, dude, your little boy, he plays Fortnite two hours a day. Like you need to be documenting that and putting it on YouTube. That's it. Because right now he's a third grader and he's badass. And if if he's gonna play Fortnite or or Xbox or any of the newest game, he's gonna be playing it regardless. Safe to say until he's at least a seventh grader. God only knows he'll be playing through his high school years. He'll be twelfth grade, probably still playing Xbox. Right? That's how we are. Right? And I'm like, dude, I just gave him an example of four years. I painted him a picture of four years. In four years, his kid's only in the seventh grade. He's still a kid. And that's a long time. That's four years. I said, bro, regardless, he's going to be playing. If you want to set your family up to be in a good financial position, would an extra, if, and, and if an extra few hundred a month would change your life, here's what you need to do. And he took my advice, man. He thought, dude, I'm going to start a channel for sure. And, 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 I, and, and, and I'm, tell, I'm not telling any, anyone, anyone that this is get rich. Hell no. Hell no. This is not what I'm in it for. I'm not in this to get rich on, a, on building a YouTube channel. I'm here to offset your monthly expenses that stress, the hell, that stress you, you the hell out. That's what I'm talking about. These, uh, an extra few hundred. An extra few hundred would take a lot of stress off an individual. Bottom line. Bottom line. So... Take whatever content you, you're fired up about, man. If you're building a business, whatever content you're putting out there, because I'm telling you, in 12 months, I'm telling people, I say, dude, in 12 months, if you can put up a couple videos a week, three videos a week to be, to be really right there on it with the algorithm, three videos per week like it was your religion in 12 months, man, from what I know I've done in my channel, and my channel ain't nothing. We, I'm just getting started. I just cracked the code. I'm just figuring this damn thing out, right? It took me a couple years. But now I'm here to, to cut the learning curve for you guys and say, hey, man, you put up a few, hour, a few videos a week, 
10, 20 minute, anything max over 10 minutes for sure. You want to be over 10 minutes on your videos for sure to count as, as three videos a week, right? You want, you want it to be at least over 10 minutes because that's when YouTube, especially when you become monetized, that's, that's when they start running, running ads on videos that are over 10 minutes. So make sure, get in the habit of, of going on a tutorial. What are you excited about? Give us tutorials. Is it a, a day in the life of a, a vlog style? Whatever, man. It could be on anything, you guys. Look at, type in into YouTube what you're interested in and go, which you already do probably, and go look at people's channels, man. Go look at their videos. Find what topics, what headline, what, um, yeah, what, what title grabs your attention. Click on it and watch it and be like, dude, I'm fired up about that. And you can start getting ideas on what the hell people are doing. Just know at my little subscriber level, shout out to every single one of you, man. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Smash the subscribe real quick. Dude, let me take a breather. Subscribe. Subscribe. I'm going to take a breather. You subscribe real quick, all right? Subscribe real quick. T, man. T. 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 Subscribe real quick, man. Because shout out to every single one of you. And where I'm at right now at the making of this video at about 1,500 subscribers, dude, I'm telling you this is what's coming in. This is what's coming in. So, so this was, this was January and, and, and I only became monetized. Let's look at this. Let's look at this view, view transactions. Let's look at this. Look, all time, all time, all transactions. Let's go. We can go previous month. We can go um, custom date range. Let's just go all time. Let's go all time and transactions. Let's go. Um, let's go payments. Okay. Look at this. I, this is my third deposit, dude. This is my third deposit. Okay. I got a deposit in November. I got a deposit in December and I got a deposit in January of 2020. I got a deposit. This is my third deposit. My very first deposit was November and that was 291. When that 291, you guys, okay, here's the deal, man. And here's where I'm going to end this video. Cause I know I went on a long enough rant, but this stuff's important, man. This stuff fires me up because even if it was, I got fired up on 291. All right, let's call it 300. Now, it took me two years. It took me damn near two years of inconsistency, of not even knowing exactly how to upload these damn videos. I still don't know what the hell I'm doing, but I know a little bit more now today for sure. But I had no idea. I was just uploading, 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 very inconsistent, not even uploading weekly. I'm telling you, three a week. Get up, get up, get up two to three a week. That's what you want to do. I wasn't doing that at all for at least a year and a half, at least two years I wasn't doing that. I, wasn't, I didn't start doing that till like two and a half years in. And then, and then that's when I started seeing my channel. So this right here, this was 2019. Okay. So in August, in August, I, I guess in August is when I became monetized. It's, I think in August is when I hit a, and, and in order to, for you to get monetized again, you need 1000 subscribers and you need 4,000 watch hours. But when I hit 1000 subscribers, it could have been in August. Let's just say it was August 24th because it was definitely around there. Let's say it was August 24th is when I hit 1,000 subscribers. I still didn't meet the other qualification, which was 4,000 watch hours. And I believe that's in a 12-month period. So you have to have an accumulation of 4,000 watched hours from all these subscribers, right? Or for anyone, from anyone, from anyone. They don't have to be a subscriber. But let's say that was August and then, and then I didn't hit the 4,000 watch hours till I think like, like October, like, like maybe September, October is when I finally hit it. And then boom, in November, because what you do, what you do the previous month pays out the next month. So what I did in October, so let's call it 291. That was October. What I did in October. So all these videos, right? All these videos that I have ads are being ran. That's all this income is from is the ads that are being ran on my videos. When you go to my video, there's a video, there's an ad that comes on in the beginning. If you watch the video through, there should be another ad that comes on. If you watch it to the very end, there should be another ad that comes on, right? These ads, that's what this money is, man. Now I put in the time to put the videos out, but, it, but it's content that I was going to put out anyways. That's my point. You guys it was content that I was already going to put out all over social media. And that's what everyone is doing. Everyone and their mother is posting on social media, trying to build something, whether it's a personal brand or a business, whatever. And I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, this is where it should be. 
this is where it should be. Because when they start sending you that money, when they start sending you that money, that money can change your life. And I don't care if it's just a few hundred, a few hundred will change most people's lives, right? Um, that's a car payment, that's groceries, that's your light bill, that's your phone bill, that's your Amazon Prime bill, that's your freaking software to Kartra. If you haven't haven't played around with Kartra, man, I don't know what you're waiting for. There's a link in the description, profitwithkartra.online. Okay, there's a 14-day trial. I use Kartra for everything. My landing pages, my email automation, my membership course, my calendars, my affiliate marketing, everything. But what I'm doing on this channel is I talk about it. I talk about Kartra. I talk about building my, my, my agency. I talk about closing clients. I talk about Facebook ads. I talk about online entrepreneurship. That's what I'm doing on my channel, right? And I'm telling you, man, most of you are way better than I am. Most of you are way better than I am. So if I can start seeing this money, if I can start seeing this money every month, and, 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 and me, I do know finances. I do know business. I am an entrepreneur, right? I've been doing this for over 20 years, right? Just building shit, right? And I understand linear income and passive income, right? And margin and ROI, right? This is a form of residual income, you guys. Yes, I've done the videos. Yes, I'm putting the work, the work up front to actually create the video and upload it. But again, it's stuff that I'm already doing. My, my friend's little boy, my, my son's friend, he's playing Xbox regardless, regardless, regardless. I'm just saying, hey man, park it over here because, because when this money does start to hit, it'll start to hit. And, 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 and if a few extra hundred will change your lives, you need to start now. You need to start now. Get fired up about something. Start talking about your interests. Start talking about your points of view. Start talking about your business, whatever you got going on. Start talking about it on YouTube. Start commenting on people's channels. So comment below, man. Let me know where you guys are coming from. Let me know how I can bring value to what you guys are doing online. Um, comment below. Start commenting on people's videos. Click like. Share it, dude. Share it. Get the algorithm going. Share this video. If, you're, if you know anyone, if there's anyone on your Facebook page, Anyone on your Twitter, if there's anyone on your LinkedIn, okay, those three platforms, if there's anyone on any friends that you're connected with on any of those three platforms that you feel can make an extra income or, 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 or would benefit from an extra income, if you know anyone on that friend list that you feel may be talented, knowledgeable, they have some type of skill, they're an entrepreneur, anything like that. If you have anyone on that friend list, man, share this damn video, all right? Share this video, share this video because someone's gonna watch it and be like, damn, this guy's makes so much sense. If he can make a few extra hundred a month and he's fired up about it, fired up about it, how can I not? do the same and how can i not be fired up i'm telling you you guys work your ass off you go to work every day clock in you work your ass off for 300 bucks if i could just take some of your interest and passion and knowledge and take some of your business content and create an income over here that will eventually throw off this monthly income and this monthly income is going to grow you guys i'm telling you man where i'm at with this channel still small and this was my first check 291 that was in november and then 312 that was in December. And then 335, that was today. Okay. That was in January. That was right now. That was today. That was the email that I got. This one right here. This is the email that I got. I kept it unread so I can show you guys. This is how it comes. Google AdSense. And I'm telling you, man, this because I'm gonna keep because I feel like I cracked some kind of code, the thumbnails, the description, the freaking tags. The um, uploading and being consistent and putting up three a week. That's what I'm going to be doing, man. So come back to my channel Monday, Wednesday, Friday, normally. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturdays is when I'll be uploading videos. And I'll be consistent with that, right? So this is just cracking the code. This, this is now knowing what the algorithm is looking for and, and, and also knowing the value that you're bringing. Don't come on here and just talk about a bunch of random shit. Have, have some type of, of base, right? Have some type of foundation, have some type of, of, of topic. And that's what I'm saying, man. Your interest, that's the topic. Your passion, that's the topic. Your, 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 um, your, your business, that's a topic. Business, interests, passion. Those are all certain topics where there's so many, many topics within it that you could talk about, man. And you could freaking come on here and build an audience and eventually start seeing these deposits that can accumulate really, really fast. I'm telling you, man, where I'm already at, let's look at, okay, so that's what came today, right? 335. Everything that happened last month, it was paid out today, this month, okay? 335. 
let's see where the income is already at for next month. Okay, because you can track this daily. You can track it daily. Um, you could track it daily. You come in here to your to your um, to your account. You click on Video Manager. And then you click on analytics, click on analytics to the left right here, analytics, click on analytics. And then you can click on revenue right here, revenue. So this right here, look at that, dude, I'm already at 264. So this is what I'm telling you, man, the 42 and the 248, that's what made 291 because I didn't reach the 100 threshold in September, that money was, wasn't paid out. I didn't even know about that money because I didn't even know I was, I even met the qualification. Thousand subscribers, 4,000 watch hours. I don't even think I had that in September and I didn't even meet the $100 threshold. So actually, no, I had to have, I had to have had the, the qualifications. I had to have meet the thousand subscribers. I had to have met the 4,000 watch hours because there's no way $42 would have been made at all. So I met all the qualifications except for one, and that's the $100 threshold. So this September, I, I wasn't even aware of the $42, man. I didn't even know it until I came in here because October. So here's what happened in October. And then in October, I wasn't even knowing it. I wasn't even knowing it. I did not even expect money. I didn't even know that in the month of October of 2019, I did not even know ads were running on my videos and that I was making money. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that because I haven't got my first check. I didn't even know that. Um, and then, and then, so what happened in September and October was paid out in November and that was the 291. So the 291 was paid out in November. That was my first check, which I did a video about a few videos back, but, um, I was fired up about that. And then, and then what happened in November that was 312 that was paid out in December. And then what happened in December which was 335, that was paid out today in January. What has happened so far in January, and we're only at the 22nd of the month, because of all these ads that are being ran, man, what has already happened in the first 22 days of the month is 264 has already been made. Residual income, you guys, people are watching my videos, ads are being ran on my videos, Money is being made on my videos while I sleep. What I visualize is an extra digit because I know for a fact, shit, look at any YouTuber. Look at the YouTubers that you're following. Do they all have more than 1,500 subscribers than me? Look at mine, dude. Look at, look at how small my channel is at 1,500 subscribers, the making and, and, and calculating of all these numbers. And I'm showing you numbers based on 1,500. Can you imagine some of these people that you're following that are at 10,000 subscribers? Can you imagine some of these YouTubers that you come across, these random channels that you come across that have 100,000 subscribers? There's people that I follow that have 600,000 subscribers. So I'm like, dude, I look at that money and I'm like, 335 was deposited today and that was from 1,500 subscribers. What if I had 3,000 subscribers? Would that, have been, would that have been a $700 deposit? And, and, and I'm telling you, dude, this is content that I'm already putting it out. But rather than putting it out, like putting it out like most of you freaking bozos and just splatting it all over social media, I'm putting it here. Because if I'm going to talk about it, I might as well eventually get monetized for it, right? YouTube, man. YouTube, 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 YouTube. These numbers fire me up. I'm visualizing an extra digit, right? I'm, I'm visualizing a comma in this monthly check, right? five digits for sure. And again, it's not my, my get rich money. It's not that it's my offset, my monthly expenses money. That's what residual income is all about, man. If you can make enough residual income to offset your monthly expenses, checkmate, you win. And I'll see you guys on the next video over and out.